Well, it's lunch, so I'm uh, going to walk back up the road and uh, Carol's going to come get me. But we are working on uh, pasture health today. Uh, I'm brush hogging a couple of different paddocks that the cows have been on. And they've ate, they've come through, they've ate what they've wanted, they've touched the tops off. And then I'm taking the rest of it off. Um, you guys may think we're completely crazy for doing so, but let me explain to you why and the benefits of it. Hello and welcome back to the farm. I am headed over to grab my tractor and the bush hog to start laying down some paddocks over there. Um, we are going to work on some pasture management and kind of just topping it off where the cows have ate through and uh, haven't cleaned it all off. There are numerous reasons we are doing this, so I'm going to kind of talk about that as I go through it today. Uh, thanks for tagging along. Hit the like, leave me a comment, and subscribe and share with your friends. We'll get today going. It's another hot one, and everybody's kind of moving in different parts. Jason and John are going to go work on a culvert issue on one of the other farms, and then I am going to go do brush hogging. Now, we've already moved cows this morning. I don't know if we'll have time to lay down any more hay today or if that will just be tomorrow's job. We do have those 30 acres we laid down last night. It's just hot. Hopefully my AC holds out today. Thanks for tagging along. So I am over here. I'm gonna check on Lucy real quick before I get back in the tractor. I brought Shiloh and Leah over. I brought them, actually they brought me because I rode over this morning. They're gonna hang out over here for probably this week at least. They're gonna eat with these cows during the day and then I'll lock them up during the night. Um, I may end up bringing the others over, I don't know yet. Just wanted to come over and check on Lucy real quick. And 21, just to make sure we don't have any calving issues. Let's just see. Hello girls. That girl's still pregnant. Let's go find Lucy. Pretty sure this is her right up here. Yep. Hey Lucy Goose. Still pregnant. <laughs> and uh, we'll probably move them paddocks tonight. See where Jason wants me to go with them. But you can see they're just hitting the tops off. So we'll come back through and brush hog several of these paddocks just to level the ground off. See that they're, they're eating down here, but then all this gets left up here. And that sucks out. Doesn't allow for the bottom grass to grow very well if it's so tall. With us bush hogging it off, it gives everything level playing ground at the same level of height and whatnot. So, uh, with the whole grass thing, Jason is in the business of making grass. I mean, like, we are grass farmers. I mean, essentially, that's what hay farming is. You plant grass, you manage grass, you harvest grass. Uh, there's, of course, different types of grass. Uh, we have Timothy from Orchard Grass Clover, White Clover, Red Clover, and Rye, and Oats, and then we also have the Alfalfa. There's no Alfalfa here, per se, not these paddocks. But when you're in the business of growing grass, people often shake their heads when we're pasture, pasturing, you know, cows, and then we're out here brush hogging. We do that because it's maintenance. Uh, think about every time you cut your hair and then it grows longer, right? Because it's all the same length. Same thing goes by grass. When you go and clip it off, it shortens it down. Everything has the same playing field. The growing rate will be all the same because everything is at back to being the same height again. The cows come in and they pick out their favorite parts. They don't pick out, you know, this versus that. I mean, they do, but they don't look for this tall stuff. Also, with that being said, it's so 
starting to get to see, and we do not want to be guy infections unless we actually end up getting them. I mean, nobody wants them, per se. But keeping the seeds cut helps to reduce big eye. This is kind of through my eyes on 101 pasture management and why I feel it's so important for our cattle and our progress with the paddocks. Um, it's beyond wanting to look nice. There are some very defined benefits of trimming back your fields and a proper time to do it. So let's just get down to the basics. What exactly is a bush hog? It's a type of rotary mower that generally attaches to the back of our tractor using a hitch system. Um, mine is a 15 foot deck batwing style that I have attached to my Case IH 5250. Essentially, there are three solid benefits to mowing and maintaining pastures or fields. Uh, weed management, maintaining forage quality, and reducing grazing pat patterns, um, more or less for livestock purposes. Uh, did you know that it also helps clean away older forage growth that becomes less plate palatable to livestock as plant fibers turn um, and make it less digestible? Uh, more fresh, palatable grasses and forages can grow for livestock to eat. That's why we do it.
about 20 acres. We're going to swap tractors and go lay down some more hay ground. As soon as the field truck gets done here. Because I was running on empty. want a cute little hat like that me with our brand on it you go to the shop the barn store and order you on I don't even know what I'm looking at to tell you. Yup, maybe, I don't know. He'll come back and inspect. Oh, I have a wad clad. Okay, he'll come up here and take care of that. Hopefully, and nothing else is gonna be wrong. Well, that explains a few things. I lost my turtle shell. <sighs> Hot and a bearing. Because that's very hot. So, take my turtle shell. And I'm sure he's going to be in a real great mood when he finds out this. One thing, it's another. That's the way farming goes. But me and this 945 have struggled every single time. Every single time. It's old. And we just keep trying to make do. My turtle shell and about to burnt myself. Okay, just home. Take it home just or just take it. Okay, I'll take it up to the house. Alright. Alright, bye. You wanna throw my turtle shell on? Or in or somewhere? Okay. Well, another day. More haze down. Broke my mocha. Gonna take a brush hog home so I can hook up my square baler and the accumulator so we can uh, bail tomorrow. Sun is setting and my watch is. 